Hello and welcome back to Keeping Up in Disney. Today, Keeping Up in Graceland, yeah. Today we are getting back on the shuttle. We already checked out. We left our bags at the desk and we're heading back across to the stores and restaurants of the Graceland, kind of like Elvis Presley Memphis Complex place. So it should be really fun. We're gonna head over there and see what we can find. Oh, and also another thing about this room, we had not shown this the first day. We hadn't taken a shower yet and we didn't know, but this shower, watch this. It's actually got, so a rainfall shower head, and then on the back, there's a back shower head too, and you can switch this little handle here, and it decides. The shower itself is really cool, having the rainfall or the back one, whatever you want. So you can do one, both, either or. It's really cool. So, nice little touch to this very fancy shower already that we've got in the guest house room. And goodbye to our room at the Graceland Guest House. We really, really enjoyed staying here. It was so nice. And we're back. We just got off the shuttle. So we're gonna go walk around and check some stuff up. I'm excited to be back here. Now we're just doing a little shopping. They have Elvis everything here you could ever want. There's so much Elvis merch here, but we just bought a couple things. Jamie got a shirt yesterday, and then I got a pin because I've been getting pins everywhere we go, and then a couple postcards too. So we'll show our souvenirs off later too, or at the end of the trip, kind of our whole haul. And so just to show again, this part almost looks like it's kind of like a outdoor mall outlet area. There's stores and shops everywhere, some dining locations, Vernon's Smokehouse, in there is the diner and a coffee shop, and then that's where you get your tickets too. And then all the experience things are over there, so they scan your tickets and you kind of go around. Planes are down that way, and then the Graceland Mansion is across the street. And those white buses that you see there take you across there for the tours. So we're gonna walk back down to some of the other gift stores. We bought a few more things. I also got a shirt and some socks. So we're getting quite a bit of Graceland merch, but we wanna make good memories from our trip. And also, it is so hot out today. It's like, it's like 90 degrees and sunny. It feels so humid. It would have been like the perfect pool relaxing day. Yesterday was a little rainy, so it didn't work out as well, but we're just so happy to still be here today and just really excited to get heading over to Nashville later too. And we're gonna go walk across the street and just take one more look at the mansion from the outside. We can't go back in today or actually look around because we don't have tour tickets, but we're just gonna take a last look. For some reason, I did just kind of totally like blank on showing this yesterday when we were here, so good thing we came back because I just, I, I wasn't thinking about vlogging, I don't know. We were just kind of enjoying the moment and really taking in the mansion. But here you can see up here, I signed my name way up there because I could reach and it was a pretty open spot with a good white background to kind of, you know, stand out against. So I thought that was cool. And then Jamie wrote hers over here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it again. But you can see this wall, everyone just comes and signs it. So they recommend you bring a Sharpie. And Jamie's was actually a bit further down and we did find it though. I actually, I took a video of her on our Instagram story yesterday writing it so I went back and quick look just to see and I could see this the green lettering up here and that made it pretty easy to come down and find where she was so there's Jamie's mine was over up on the top there near the gatehouse you can see the mansion in the background there and it's just a huge wall where everyone comes and signs it so it's really really cool kind of leave your mark on Graceland and it's just you know public and they encourage you to do it so it's really cool have like a little drive off the main road, the Elvis Presley Boulevard, so you can just pull your cars over and get out right on the wall, which is what all of those people are doing. And goodbye to Graceland Mansion. It was amazing. And you can kind of see the ticketing stations there, and this is like the central hub, so you get on the tours there. And we're gonna go check out Gladys's Diner. But in here too, this is actually the Rock and Go Cafe. And it's so cool. They have grab and go options, hot or ice drinks, and tons more. And check out the diner. You can get drinks from gas pumps. It looks so classic. Check this out. There's jukeboxes with checkout scanners and even a car to sit in. This is amazing. We love it. And it's so cool in here. They have burgers, pizza, chicken, hot dogs, peanut butter and banana sandwiches, shakes and ice cream. I'm so excited. The burgers look really good and they have chicken sandwiches. And then here they actually have the grilled peanut butter and banana sandwiches. That sounds amazing. I'm kind of tempted by a slice of pizza. I don't know what to do. They do have souvenir refill cups too, which is so cool. And then I got a slice of pizza. The ice cream stand here, they have banana pudding ice cream. That sounds so good. 
So this is like a triple meat pizza. It looks pretty good. Then I just got a Coke. And Jamie got this souvenir tumbler though for Graceland. So it's like a plastic cup. It's really cool actually. And we're sitting and at the I car. And I got root beer because I found out that root beer is one of all of his favorite soda. Yes, and he did like Mountain Dew too, which is my favorite. And we've got this awesome diner in the car in the back. It's just so nice in here. Gladys's is really good. All of the restaurants and dining locations here are actually great. They also do have a little shaved ice cart over there, which is pretty cool. And then kind of the last place we have to check out is the Mini Maze Sweet Shop. I think it's got ice cream, shakes, candy, and more. This is so cool in here and it smells amazing. Kind of like the confectionery at Disney, but look, Mini Maze Sweets and it's really decorated nicely. Ice cream in there actually looked and smelled amazing too. They had a couple specialties and then now, we are pretty much all done here at Graceland, and we had an amazing time, so we think actually, too, we're just gonna walk back to the hotel and not take the shuttle, so we can kind of just enjoy the walk back and then go grab our bags and get heading to Nashville. And we did eat Vernon's yesterday. I again forgot to vlog it. After the mansion tour, I just kind of had like a, like a brain fog. I don't know, yeah, we weren't vlogging the tour, and then I was just like really not even thinking about vlogging, because the mansion just really, you know, kind of like took me took me back I don't know it was interesting but yeah we did have Vernon's yesterday and it was yummy and we did write this yesterday too right at the gates of Graceland and one more there and the walk back to our hotel from actual Graceland is not far at all it's literally just straight up the street but it's kind of I don't know, interesting and sad this area because Graceland itself, like the mansion and that visitor area and everything is so new looking and developed and then all around it you go 30 seconds and it's incredibly run down and not well cupped up and kind of sketchy so but I think it would be cool if Graceland just bought out a lot of the property in the area, especially now that they're making more money from all the tourism and stuff, and maybe like even built like a value resort type thing across the street in the parking lot, and they could do like a cheaper hotel, the more deluxe hotel, buy out some of these shops, turn them into other restaurants or souvenir shops, and really kind of revitalize it. Yeah, it would be real Graceland land. It'd be like a giant Graceland. That would be amazing. And they should... Each different resort be themed around a different... Like a decade. Yeah, that would be so cool. And my idea would be that someone from Graceland, they should pull in like an Imagineer to help with the planning and theming and everything too, to kind of partner and collaborate, or like a former Imagineer. It is so hot. I'm dying out here. You're wearing long sleeves. What do you expect? It's like it's like 90 degrees and sunny. It's so hot. But there's the guest house. We're pretty much back. It was a quick walk. And we are walking up to the guest house one last time. It really is such a beautiful hotel resort. It's so nice. And walking in here too kind of reminds us almost of like a Disney resort because it's just so beautiful and it's like the same thing where it's hot outside and you come into the AC and you get hit with the smells. They have like a special smell for this guest house and we love it. One last goodbye to the coffee shop too, Shake, Rattle and Go, and the bar that we love here. The bar is so nice. And the beautiful lobby. Bye bye Graceland guest house. We had an amazing time. Our last time. Elvis Presley Boulevard. We are now on our way to Nashville. We forgot to update you guys what I updated when we were leaving the guest house, but never again like once we were in the car. So we have already been driving for over an hour now, like an hour and 20 minutes. We're under two hours from Nashville, so we're getting, I mean, it's we're not close yet, but it's really, this drive doesn't seem bad at all too now, especially after our longer drive the other day. This is a pretty quick little trip, and then we're excited for a fun night just getting to see Nashville and hang out. Yep, so we'll be there in about two hours. This is the view. Yep, we've got an hour and 57 minutes. Ari's are, he got a crack in his window. Just 
We have made it to downtown Nashville. We'll be arriving in five minutes. So yeah, this is exciting. It's been a while since I've been to Nashville too. So. And I have never been to Nashville. Yeah, this should be fun. We're gonna get checked in, get all our stuff in the room, check out the room, and then maybe explore the hotel a little bit, maybe find a bar, and then see what we're gonna do tonight. It should be really fun. Yeah. All right, so we got to our hotel. We're checking in. This is the lobby. Very pretty. That's where the elevators are. Taco Bell checkers, tons of couches. Coffee bar. Very nice and pretty. Half Dolly, half Mickey Mouse, and then half Dolly, half SpongeBob. What? Here's our hotel room. And look, our room key is a Dolly Parton ID. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, I feel like we're in a dollhouse. Wow. That's just crazy. We have a view of the whatever that is. Cool bed. See the bathroom. Oh nice. Very simple. And a little old fashioned phone. Oh, it doesn't twist. Interesting. We kind of already drank most of them, but we did end up going up to the rooftop bar restaurant place, the White Limousine, and we just stopped by the bar to get these drinks. We both got the same one. This was called the Live in the Dream, and it looked really pretty. I'll put the picture in here from like our Instagram story or Jamie's picture of her drink upstairs at the bar, but it was really good. It was like a fruity mixed drink with like banana, pineapple, and a couple other things. Super good. It looked super cool, and we're going to find out what else we're going to do for the night now. We are out here at White Limousine. We got a table and we ordered some drinks. Jamie ordered an anti-hero and I also did. And then she ordered goat cheese balls too. So we're excited, it's beautiful up here. And there they are, the goat cheese croquettes. They're goat cheese balls and Jamie is gonna try them. So there they are and here goes Jamie, trying her first goat cheese ball. Is it good? Let me see the inside. It looks pretty good. It's literally just like a cheese ball. What would you give it out of 10? 10 out of 10. Really? That good? Wow. Maybe I'll try one. And here we are. We are on Broadway Street in Nashville. Gonna go check out maybe some bars, music. I don't know what else, but Jamie's got her nice pink outfit on. We are by the Bridgestone Arena right now, just kind of walking down to Broadway. We're gonna see what we can find. This should be really fun. And now we made our way over to White Duck Taco Shop, which is combined with the Old Smoky Distillery, and this looks so fun. Did you try the queso yet? And we actually did get a little jar of moonshine from the old smoky distillery here. We're also probably going to go in Gatlinburg and check it out, but we were already there getting tacos and food, so we figured why not. But quick stop back at the hotel, and then I think we might go check out the karaoke bar here at our hotel. Yeah. 